Hey, feel like frozen when my super sue my wrist cold. I can't hold that bitch like sipping super bottle. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Tony back again with another video, and today we are doing a video on NBA Top Shot introduction and kind of an introduction into Top Shot for people who don't know what Top Shot is. Top Shot is a very good website with a, a very good back record that I would like to show you, and the collectibles are going up in price as we speak. Um, I've been invested into this site, as you can see, since January 21st, and I want to kind of give you my little rundown on what I think Top Shot is and uh, my investment tips to you guys. So introduction, who is Dapper Labs and who are they? I mean, Dapper Labs is, are, are the people who created and Dapper Labs have Dapper Balance and all this good stuff. So Dapper Labs is basically a company that made CryptoKitties, which CryptoKitties launched in 2017 and it had 1.3 million transacted within the first five days. CryptoKitties is basically where you can collect and breed kitties online. And this blew up everywhere. It was only Ethereum based until uh, Dapper Labs made their own crypto called Flow. Flow is only available on European markets for anybody who's a crypto fiend out there. But for Flow, they basically use this blockchain for crypto kitties now. And they also, I think, have around 22 million transacted. If I go on to, if I go on to Crypto Slam, um, it's probably going to show around 22 million. But yeah, Crypto Kitties is basically where you can breed kitties and you can do all this stuff. They also had a collab with Crypto Kitties um, uh, with NBA Top Shop where you got a Carl Anthony Towns card for Cool Cats, which only Crypto Kitties users could have got. So, on Crypto Slam, it does say it has over um, 7 mil. Or no, this is. We'll go all time. That's 33 million in sales. But now Top Shot has 503 million in sales now, which is insane. NBA Top Shot was launched in a closed beta in mid May 2020 with only 30 collectors. It started growing until the launch of their open beta was on October 20th. But in October 20th, the prices weren't how they used to be. I mean, I'm going to put a picture probably up right here that shows that um, the prices weren't what they are today. They were very, very low. The market would stay persistently uprising though with people hearing about it on the crypto nerds and the fantasy league geeks. Some would start investing money as some would not. So it was kind of just to pick and choose who would invest money. By March 30th, 2020, Top Shot had already over 800,000 user registrations. That's fucking nuts. That's fucking wild. They had maybe a thousand to five thousand when I joined in January, and by March 30th, 800,000. With some increase in growth charts over 500 or five five thousand percent, which is fucking insane. I don't even understand that. Also, just a small tip about uh, Dapper Labs is I have a couple um, forms that I would like to show you on my other screen here. So I'm gonna move them over here. So here's one where uh, Dapper Labs raises 305 million while being valued at 2.6 million. This is a um, article about high profile investors led by Michael Jordan and Kevin Durant investing into Dapper Labs. That's 35, 305 million funding. Uh, this is also a market breakdown since February 1st. Unique buyers per month nine times. Total transactions per month three times. Total sales volume per week five times. Market cap 2.25 times. This is fucking insane. Like as you can see, the market was way higher at the February spike, but it also hasn't went down too much to where it can spike up again, which it could. Um, this is now just saying the same thing with the 2.6 valued, uh, 2.6 billion valued, which is fucking nuts. Like they were probably valued probably 500% or 5,000% less than that probably three months ago. Uh, here's the user registrations in March on March 3rd. So they were only at 450,000. They almost raised 2% in a f or 20 or a hundred percent in a fucking month. They went like. 450,000 to 800,000 by March 30th. How does that happen with a company and it doesn't go up? Like that's kind of the thing with Top Shot that everybody's kind of bullish on because Top Shot is so big right now. 
You can also see here, um, I thought I had something else, but I guess I don't. But yeah, that's fucking wild. So let's go back to Top Shot and let's talk about the market dip. So there was a huge market dip around February 30th to the March range, right when we were about to hit March. My account was valued around $65,000 and it went all the way down to around 13, 12, 11, 10,000. It's at 12 right now. It's kind of sitting at 12. I can show you right now. Um, it's sitting at around 12.5 probably. But the market dip, whenever the market spikes, it has to it spikes up. It obviously has to go down. It just spiked up a ton. And that's what the top shot market did basically top shots market would steadily decline to prices as we have today Which are still way over the prices that were in January some players in January I bought for 50 to 65 dollars are now still 500 today, which which is with my Kevin Porter jr um, I bought this guy in January for 65 dollars and he's going for a, a sum of 400 So I did get that factor on I'm really sorry, but it's still 400 dollars um, so yeah, so I bought that guy for 35 or not 65 and he's still increasing probably by 300 400 um, percent There's easy there's easy money to make off market dips though Like because the market is always moving and there's so many ways to invest from quick clips long-term methods or cards You like I mean right now is the best time to buy if you wait and buy two weeks three weeks later It's gonna eat you in the ass. I mean the problem is I feel like everybody's gonna start trying to buy because of these user registrations registrations and a lot of people are registering and not getting cards yet but once they get cards it'll start a collection for them and start an addiction which i think everybody else has an addiction to this now because of the money aspect involved how to buy packs so i wanted to go over this with you guys real quick because not a lot of people know how to buy packs so there's going to be packs on the main screen and there's going to be packs on the discord uh or not packs but pings on the discord for base packs so base packs basically are completely random well packs like pre-order packs get 48 hours note or 48 hours buying time and other packs like rising stars which get eight hours notice so with base packs basically they're going to be completely random and you're going to want notifications on discord on so the notification you want on for discord is you want to turn on notifications for the announcements in nba top shot that'll give you the ping to your phone for the announcement when packs are releasing and you can get on it pretty quickly uh the queue when you enter the queue after the queue is open they give you probably a 15 to 20 minute entry time once you join the queue it'll be completely random once it opens you'll get drambled up in a little line and and you'll get scrambled and you'll get your place um, if you're usually 500 above the number of packs, so as you can see here, it was 25,000. So let's say you're 25,500. You can probably get a pack because of what's happening and like um, because of the pay payment fails for other people. When you're 750 to 1,000, you're pushing it, but you're going to want to stay if you're under 2K. If you're over 2K, you can just turn off your computer and enjoy the rest of the day if there's no more packs dropping. But if there are packs dropping, just stay on alert. Uh, and that's all I would say for that. Um, I did a video on how to snipe cards so for to how to buy cards I did a video on how to snipe cards. It'll be right up here. I think I think I'm pointing to the right spot But yeah, it'll be right up there um, So you can go look at that video and see what that video is all about um, Which um, if you wanted to buy like a card that you're not trying to snipe uh, Let's say I was trying to buy this Nikolai view kick um, Let's say I was trying to buy his low serial number So I was looking for the best price for him. I can show you real quick on how I buy Bye. So I can go to serial number, I can pick what serial number, you're probably going to want to pick the lowest, so 17, if you're looking 1 to 20, and you're going to want to buy a card, you're going to want to buy number 14, because that's the cheapest, and you can probably make a little bit of money off that. So just look for the lowest price around your area, if you really like a number, then you can obviously go buy that number. Um, I'm going to just buy the lowest ass, and I'm just going to show you real quick, I'm not actually going to buy the card, but I'm just going to show you how, after, when you purchase and process your order, what it does. So it takes you to this dapper page which is where you can put in your credit card you can also put dapper balance if you have dapper balance not available is cryptocurrency and flow for cards right now but i think cryptocurrency is available for packs still if i'm not wrong it please correct me if i'm wrong in the comments and i will leave an edit here but yes um i want to give you investment tips i've been watching the market very carefully i've been looking at the market and trying to figure out what to do and right now i'm selling all my 35,000 cards because because I feel like they will have 
decline over the next couple of weeks and months due to packs and pre-order packs being dropped. Let's say the Top Shot keeps on growing the growth and let's say 600k pre-order packs are bought, which isn't even an out of range number because of how big Top Shot has grown. So let's say 600,000 pre-order packs are bought everybody's gonna get all those 35,000 players i don't care if it's a luca i don't care if it's a lamello i don't care if it's a lebron it's going down because people are gonna want to quick cash they want quick out so i would say for the next week um if you have 35,000 cards think about selling them however on that note i would still go for packs though as packs in my eyes will always be the best uh and always be the most profitable until they're widely available to the market and i mean widely available like 600k 700k packs being bought every time for base packs like i'm talking like widely widely available um if investing money into the marketplace i really like any card under 15,000. i mean i usually just go unfiltered uh series and or not series ser serial number and go under 15,000. i really like any of these cards to be honest um i need to go up a little bit but um all these cards are kind of just good and they've been going up i mean i've been seeing some real profit off these cards and some real quick flipping profit and if you like quick flipping then go for it if you don't then i would still buy these cards because i feel like they're limited edition so some of them aren't even going to be dropped in packs again and some of them are just going to keep on going up every, over time because there's they're very scarce cards i mean they're not as openly available as these thirty-five thousand cards um uh, and these cards also if you're holding like one to two years these cards will all be more valuable than the thirty-five thousand cards it's the same as series one and series two concept because i bet the the limit for the thirty-five thousand cards won't even be thirty thousand because of the unpresented unpresented growth on nba top shot sorry i butchered that a little bit but that's what i have for today that's my nba top shot introduction video i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys have any more questions please let me know all my socials will be down below if you want to follow me if you want to message me just message me i can help you out with anything go join the community on discord i have a discord server now and also i'm live streaming on top shot at 8 p.m pacific 11 p.m eastern tonight if anybody wants to join and that's all i got for you guys today i'll see you guys later and peace out let's get her going